the helmets, but they never. I am not arguing with you. Did you know that, Grandad? What's that, son? Vikings never used to have horns on the helmets. Yes, they did. I saw it in that film with uh, Tony Curtis and Kirk Douglas. No, that's all wrong. They only ever used to do it in the films. Miss Evans said if they had horns, they'd get in the way when you were fighting. Huh? We have mutton for tea, Mum. We are having quiche, jack potato and salad. I fancy mutton. Do you know what it is? Yeah, meat. The Vikings used to have it. They had a whole leg each. I am not having mutton in this house. Especially not dressed as lamb. Thank you, Ronald. I'm going to turn my den into a Viking stronghold. Yeah, well, maybe you want to tidy your room first, eh? Do you want a Viking jewel with me, Grandad? Hey, 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 that's my Christmas paper. Do you mind? Give it here. It's only September. Yeah, well, that's your Grandad's business strategy, you see. Always one step ahead of the game. Will you make us a Viking sword? Yeah, well, I've done this lot, OK. Yes, I'm going to need some iron gold, silver or copper for the handle. Well, something tells me it's going to be made out of wood. Hewn from a piece of two by one. All right. Hey, have you told your granddad about the psychologist? No, I'm telling him about firewalking first. Psychologist first, then the firewalking. All right. This new psychologist sitting with us. He's all right, dead tall, with blonde wavy hair. Oh, no, I've just realised. What? He looks like Thor, the Viking god. I am absolutely knackered. Have you ever tasted mutton? No. I'm going to try and get some, you know, massive legs of it. Great. So come on then, how was it? Have you given anyone the cane yet? No, I've got another couple of weeks of this board and then so stuff and then they let the kids loose on me. It'll be worth it when you're qualified. You'll be teaching in my school. Told you. You're a teacher, eh, son? You'll be teaching about the Vikings? I don't think so. Because if you need to know anything, I know loads. Jim. Victory barbecue round at mine. Oh, victory. Silico, we took them on and we won, didn't we? Hey, so it's everyone round to ours. I've got the grub, just bring the bowl. Right, what time? Uh, in about an hour. Nearly everyone's coming. Okay. See you later. Talk. Yeah? What do you think, Dad? What? About Viking jewels. Great, you worked hard there, didn't you? We've been invited to a barbecue at Jimmy's. Just us? No, everyone. I love barbecues. Oh, I don't know. Don't fancy that, no core kills. Oh, come on, Grandad, I really want you to come. You only have to go for an hour. One hour. Will you have mutton? You could always ask. Right, I'll tell you about firewalking now. Well, go on, man. You listening, Dad? Yeah. Well, the Vikings used to do it to prove that they were innocent of anyone accused them of anything. They had to walk 12 steps on dead hot iron, and if the burns on the feet wasn't infected in three days, they were innocent. Is this mutton? You want? Gosh, that's enough. Hey, kid, get a plate, get some food. You're gonna have a Viking jewel with us, Dad? Later. I want to get something to eat. Hey, I'll have a jewel with you later, OK, son? Thanks, Grandad. When are you going to tell them what we found out? I suppose I should do it ASAP. Might put them off their food, but... Um, <clears throat> right, ladies and gentlemen, could you just uh, listen up, please? No way. Don't embarrass me by toasting me, Jimmy. Uh, no, don't worry, I won't. Listen, I'll be brief. Um, we're all here to celebrate this bit of good news, that we've won the first round. What do you mean, first round? Ooh, that's it, isn't it? Of course it is. Thanks to Ron. Uh, there might be a bit of a sting in the tail. I've just been in contact with a mate of mine who works in Brussels and uh, we've got some more info on this Cynico lot and I don't think it's good news. Hey, now don't start scaremongering, Corkill. Ron, I can just give you the facts, that's all. This Cynico lot have been the subject of three inquiries into carcinogenics. That's the things that cause cancer. This is pollution on a big scale. How do you mean? Well, it's an incinerator and it bellows out smoke. Hey, I have had reassurances from them personally that they're going to be building a bigger chimney and putting extra filters in. They put filters in cigarettes. They still give you cancer. What's that got to do with it? Hold on. The point is we need to look at the evidence. You know, not what Cynico promises. Three inquiries? Yeah, I know what you're saying, Jim. But all you need is a couple of these eco-warriors. Start scaring people. Panic sets in. Common sense goes out the window. Yeah, but how do you know they're not telling the truth? Yeah, and truth is the first casualty in war, love. We're not at war. Oh, yes, we are. This is the NIMBYs versus British Enterprise. Now, Cynico is a good British company who will provide jobs, hopefully, for our own. And we shouldn't turn our noses up at that. Marty, it's going to be on your doorstep, you know, mate. It could be work for you. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say no, you know, but, I mean, them cancer things. You won't be allowed to just chuck stuff up the chimneys. I'm just saying we should be on our guard. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, let's all just get a drink, eh, and stop worrying. 
Great food, by the way. Come on! Hey! Come on, Josh! Hey! Oh! Can you behave, please? Sorry, Mike. Uh, this is a shit. Sorry, Dad. Just sell down more people are trying to eat. Hey, he didn't mean it. Yeah, he never does, does he? What's up now? Sorry, Ron. Uh, it was my fault. I was, uh, I was chasing him. Yeah, still, Josh go on mad, though, won't it? Behave, you! Hey, there's no need to shout at him. I'm gonna go and get changed. You were the kid yourself once, you know. Yeah, I do know. Yeah, well, he's mad keen enough you as to start and playing with you. Yeah, I know. Look, my head's done in trying to keep Rachel happy at the flat. She's had a knock with a neighbour. All that's kicked off. Now I've got this teacher trainer stuff. Yeah, and you've also got a son who wants to be with you, Michael. Yeah, he'll have to wait. I'll get round to it. <coughs> well, <here. coughs> Come on. Talk. Not as fit as you used to be, are you? <coughs> hey. Life in the old dog, yes. <coughs> you start me on me. Ooh, swat. Hey. Don't knock it. You were always good with homework. Yeah, but I was brainy. <laughs> See you later. Was only messing with him, you know, Dad? Yeah, I know. I just wish he had a mate. He'll get one. I'll go and keep him company. No winding him up, all right? Oh, Michael's far too harsh, shall he? Whatever happened to father son bond, did I? Play with anyone? Play Vikings with Luke. I feel sick. <sighs> He's probably eating too much, you know. He's probably sulking because Mike shouted at him. I'm gonna have to have another way of it, aren't Michael? You know, he's far too harsh on him. Right, we're getting off. And hey, James, don't be putting these rumours around about cynical. Now I've saved the community, so let's just leave it at that, shall we? Come on, Josh, let's go. I'm going to bed. Oh, stop sulking. Yeah, you wouldn't get a Viking warrior sulking, would you, eh? I'm not sulking, I feel sick. Oh, the sooner you talk to Mike, the better. Don't worry, I will. How's he supposed to be a school teacher if he's got no patience for kids? I thought that was meant to be the first requirement. 37.8. You sure? Mm, I've done it twice. You kept your eye on him, didn't you? I mean, he didn't dip the thermometer in his tea or nothing. It's genuine. So he's not sulking then? He's definitely not well. Shall I call the doctor? No, we'll, we'll try him with paracetamol first. But we shouldn't take chances, you know, not with kids. Look what happened to Beth. That ended up as meningitis. It's definitely not that. I mean, he hasn't had a, a rash or headaches, none of that. OK. Paracetamol. For now. He's boiling hot. Won't this take his temperature down? Well, usually, yeah, but I'm wondering if he's too far gone. Too far gone? Well, I mean, that won't be enough. Does look hot, doesn't he? And he's sweating and all. You don't think it could be meningitis, do you? Well, you said it wasn't. Well, I'm not a doctor, am I? I can't be 100% sure. Right, well, let's try him with some of this. Come on, Josh. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. here's a good lad. Your granddad, I'm gonna give you some medicine. Hot. I'm that one, but this will make you better. I don't like this. Right. I'm gonna get the doctor. I'm not gonna take no for an answer. You can't touch him, you know. I don't want to disturb him. That me, Dad? Yes, yeah, son, it's your dad. Hey, your dad. How are you, Tiger? Tiger? Never called him Tiger. I'm just being friendly, aren't I? Yeah, like being called Tiger. I'll say something to him. You look hot, Josh. Mm. But we're going to get you better, aren't we, hon? Hey? Has your dad managed to get through to the doctor? I'm not sure. He was kicking off on some out of hours service before. Mm, as long as I got to the doctor here quicker. Can you believe it? I pay me taxes and I have to go through the Spanish Inquisition to get a doctor to come out and see a sick child. Only wanted us to take him to the drop-in centre. Yeah, I wonder if he can take a run and jump. Anyway, the quack's on his way now. How is he? No, oh, still the same. Are you reading your story, Dad? I can't, mate. I've got to go down and study. I'll take you five minutes. He's not complaining. Look, Josh, I'm going to go downstairs, but when the doctor's been, I'll call back up, OK? 
seen a bit. Josh, it's your family. I've had enough of this. I'm going out. What about your precious studies? Ron, you can't force love if it's not there. The storm roared its full fury and the icy waves crashed down, but still, on and on, the Viking flagship ploughed its way through the icy black sea. Grandad? Yes, hon? Did you study to Mike when he was your son? He still is my son. And, uh, yeah, I used to read to him. Wish he'd read to me, cos I'm his family, aren't I? His son. I think you better get some rest, then. you? <laughs> Can I have my Viking sword? You don't need that. I do, in case anything happens. The Vikings used to be buried with the swords. Josh, Josh, it's not that serious, son, honest. Look, the doctor's on his way and he's going to make you better, OK? Can I have my sword just in case? Of course you can. But I'll tell you what, when you're better, we'll go downtown and I'll buy you a proper Viking outfit and a better sword. Got one you made to find, thanks. Love you, son. How long have you been there? Long enough to see what a fantastic granddad you are. You should have a break, you know. Go downstairs and watch some telly. Thanks, love. No, I did this a lot with the other three. I might get the flu a couple of times. Uh, Jacqueline always seemed to have an ear infection, probably because she was never out the swimming pool. And our Tony... Well, I had that. He did on uni, you know. What dreams you'd have for the mayor. So, sitting up with a poorly kid is all part of my job. Well, I hope the doctor gets here soon. It's nearly two hours since we rang. Probably had a tea break. Oh, oh I hope that's a doctor now. All right, I'll go. Get him down the banks, keeping us waiting. Go easy on him, Ron. <sighs> Mr McLaughlin. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, Dixon. <laughs> Follow Dixon, love. <clears throat> Doctor. <laughs> Do you mind if I... No, 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 please. Allow Thank me. you. Sorry it's taken me so long to get here. There's been a virus going around. A lot of my elderly patients have been struck down by it. Hope our Josh hasn't got it. <laughs> now, where's the patient? Uh, uh, just uh, up the stairs. <laughs> uh, he's in uh, here, Doctor. You took your time, Doctor. I'm really sorry. It's been a busy day. I was just telling your husband. Uh, I'm the grandfather. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. Now, what's the problem with Josh? It's not that much cooler. Do you think we should give him some more paracetamol? Well, he's not due yet, is he? You know, I reckon that we should phone our Mike and get him to pick up that prescription. He can get more paracetamol at the same time. I'm not sure about these steroids, you know. It sounds a bit wheezy to me, love. Look, don't worry. They'll sort it. What? Is he OK? I've given him some more paracetamol. Mm. You go and rest in my bed now, wait till I'm No, you go on. Hey, you won on the steroids. You're not waiting on this. Mm. If his temperature's not down in an hour, I'll wake you and move home for an ambulance. 